So let's give a big round of applause for Bartram. I'm sick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you ready to go? Yes. So we came up with the name The Seeds of Change because we would like to make a change, but like we start little and then we go big. When you look at Southwest, there's a lot of trash and stuff, so that really got our attention. Like, how about we? Try to clean it up more and like show people different ways on how you can reuse your trash instead of throwing it out. So we came up with like a like for example this bench. It was just long pieces of metal just sitting there. So we was like, why not make a bench? So here's our bench. And like we also working on a bird bath and stuff like that. And and then um Next year, we're thinking about getting the schools in this community to like have different competitions on like trash and collecting it and stuff like that. And we'll have a prize for them, whoever wins. Like my job is the social media, media. Whereas though I have an Instagram for it, and I like to snap different pictures and stuff. Hashtag Seed of Change. Can you dig it? And then I use my page to like spread it around and like people in the. Um, uh, that's a part of the group. We use that and we spread it around so everybody can know. And what did you like about uh, seeing about the seed of change? I like about it is that I'm I'm also learning myself because I throw stuff in the trash without thinking. But as I'm doing this, that's actually inspiring me. Like instead of throwing this, uh, what can I use this for later? So it's actually helping me. Good morning, my name is Najia. I'm Kalia. I'm Robert. I'm Trinity. I, I'm Giovanni. I'm Honesty. I'm Shikan. And I'm Jaleesa. And, and we, we are Seas of Change. change. JT, Rie <laughs> JT Rieger Hills the World Challenge made us think, why do places around the world seem so vibrant and in our neighborhoods is littered with debris? This challenge motivated us to make a difference and consider how we can make the greatest impact in our community. Seas of Change is committed to educating our peers and neighbors on waste reduction by reducing waste in our community, repurposing items that has been discarded, and restoring beauty in Southwest Philadelphia. This project matters to our team because our, our community matters and we deserve to live in a neighborhood we can be proud of. We collect the discarded items in our community, and you will be surprised when people throw in the trash. We, we, <laughs> we put things together, we communicated with the uh, organizations around us in our neighborhood, and uh, later on, see what we could uh, donate them to. We started out small, but as the projects continued, our ideas grew. It was apparent our movement was building steam when everyone began taking ownership of the work. They donated their trash for our projects. They volunteered to assist us after school and took pledges to reduce their own personal waste. Inspired by the passion of our peers, we vowed to spread our message for years to come. Members of our team rolled up their sleeves and created more dynamic projects while one group researched the impact of waste in our community, another worked on a video game and cartoon. So we kicked off our message with a community day that can allow our entire neighborhood to get involved in our mission. Our event included a, a, a street cleanup, recycled, <laughs> recycled art fair, a clothing drive, and a book exchange. We distributed reusable water bottles and shopping bags and informed our guests by eliminating the use of these items, they would be helping the environment and keeping waste off the streets of our neighborhood. Through our art fair and exchange, our message was communicated in a way that, that helped the Southwest community come together. In a few hours, our neighbors and peers learned why it was important to be thoughtful about what they threw away. They also had the opportunity to consider what impact that waste has in our community. 
Our event survey concluded that 44.7% of community members use beverages in disposable bottles, and more than half of it ends up in trash. They also acknowledge throwing away items that have a decomposition date of a thousand years or more. Collectively, we are more responsible for our waste, and we understand that together, um, we can. Collectively, we are more responsible for our waste, and we understand that throwing away our trash, we are polluting the earth. And ah. I got it. By cleaning up the streets, discarding race before it gets into our community, and finding ways to redo, reuse discarded items, we can ultimately restore our community. We won't stop until our entire neighborhood is devoted to the three R's. Reduce, repurpose, and restore. Thank you. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Great job. All right, three minutes for question and answer. Kudos once again, really great job. Uh, I love the three R's, uh, the reduce, repurpose, and restore. How did you guys come up with that as what appears to be your tagline? <laughs> Well, we came up with it because we noticed that a lot of trash, you can reuse it for different things. Um, like, as you've seen in the video, the bench, all, it was only just a bunch of metal lines and pieces, and we decided to get one of our teachers in our school to um, mend it into a bench. So we would reduce the waste that comes into our neighborhood, we would repurpose it into something useful, and we would um, restore the beauty in Philadelphia, because if you notice, Philadelphia is really, really littered. It's honestly <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that means there's a lot of opportunity for you guys. Yes. How do you guys uh, plan to um, continue the work um, and spread it and get others involved in your school and your community? Um, well, we decided that next year we start a competition with the schools around in our neighborhood, like who can pick up the most trash and turn it into stuff, and whoever wins will have a prize for them. And we decide to do that every year. Oh, so thank you. Idea. So have you thought about um, the opportunity, because a lot of the reuse is an opportunity for you to resell. I, there's another R for you. Right. Um, yeah. And um, have you thought about that? Um, is there potential, because it looks like you're being very creative around the furniture and potential for jewelry, and you seem to have involved a lot of community members in the process. Mm -hmm. Um, well, we decided that we would like to donate our items to other places like schools and nursery homes, and then we would just ask for a donation. Mm -hmm. I think you did a, a great job, and the video was, was really awesome. It was, it was like it could be, that's the quality of anything I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> really great job, really well done. So what was it like working as a team? Tell me about that. Um, together, we all of our ideas had clashed at first, and nope, we weren't getting nothing done. But as time went on, we f figured out how to di how to do things, and stuff started to come together. So basically, we put all of our ideas together, came up with one thing, and we just saw like we just had a vision what fit together, what fit together with what, and we did it. I I'm cu I'm curious. Did you all consider yourself to be artists before this, or did you become artists in the no. process? No, not at all. No. <laughs> So what did you learn by, about the process? Um, we learned that anything that you see can be made into something else, that nothing is trash. You can get um, some jeans, and we're like, what do we do with the jeans? We made it into a purse. Um, if you look at the, I can't see it here, but there's a chandelier looking thing. It's just made out of entirely of um, plastic bottles. Um, Y'all did an amazing job. Um, it reminded me a lot of um, the spot on South Street around, I mean, I think Ninth and South, where they pretty much have turned, it's, it's what is it? Magic, Magic, Magic Gardens. Gardens, thank you. Um, I would like to see that in more schools. Do y'all have any ideas besides competition no. to inspire young people? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> do y'all have any nope. ideas? Nope. Do I want to say no? Yeah, yeah. 
But um, do you have any ideas to inspire the entire city to move towards this movement? Because we see this in other cities like San Francisco and Denver. How would you implement it in Philly beyond the competition? Well, we had a, um, a clothing and food drive. It featured all the things that we made and had free clothes and food. And we um, also gave extra credit to kids who participated. And Time's uh, up. Could I? So sorry. Thank you, thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. High five. Great job.